Grace, peace, and mercy be unto you from God our Father and Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Renee. And I have to my left, Minister Renee Jr. Amen. Um, Amen. Press like, subscribe to Life in the Word. Amen. 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 Tell your friends, your family about it. We're going to continue talking about the decaying bodies. Amen. Amen. So we're going to put you to 2 Corinthians 5, verse 6. He says, So we are always confident, even though we know that as long as we live in these bodies, we are not at home. Mm with the Lord. So when I'm reading this, he say home is another place. Come on, yes, he yes. is. That's what he's saying. He, yes. he didn't call this side home. Mm -hmm. That's why even in funeral, you see the old folks used to say going home service. Yeah, going home service. So home is actually somewhere else. So now, let's put it this way. By not believing on Jesus, you you miss on going home. Yes. Mm -hmm. You'll never see home. You're going to go somewhere else, but you ain't going home. Yes. Now, home, every spirit was designed to go home. Every spirit was not designed to go somewhere else. Yes. You understand that? Right. Every spirit yes. was designed to go home. All of us going to go home one day. Yes. So this is not our home. This is not where we belong. So when we live this body, see, the prob problem is most of us are comfortable on the other side of home. Mm -hmm. That we forgot ourselves. Yeah. We forgot where we belong. We lost the memory of home. We lost the memory of where we come from. And Jesus come to remind us that. He did. You understand? Yes. He is the portal to home. You understand that? Amen. I'm the way. See, that, that's when he said, I'm the way. The truth and the life. I'm the portal to home. Yes. You can't that you can't go nowhere without going to the Jesus Airport. No. No. That's the only way. Jesus flight. That's the only way you're gonna That's come to get, get get it home. Yeah. Cause ain't no way you're gonna go home. Right. Hmm? Be, no, because he said <laughs> he said anyone that goes um you know to the sheep folds another, another way. Another way. Yeah. You, you, guess what happened to people? That trying to get to the airport without a ticket. Come on, you gonna get squatted out, <laughs> squatted out, and gnashing and pulling up teeth on yeah. the other side, outside. Yeah. outside. So he says that. So we are always confident, even though we know that as long as we live in these bodies, we are not at home with the Lord because our home is with the Lord. Yes. Our home is not with the devil. Our home is with the Lord. For we live by believing and not by seeing. Not, you see, we live by what? By believing. believing. Meaning trusting, having faith in God. So we're not supposed to say, oh, I see, I believe. No. Seeing and believing is for the carnal man. But for the believer, we, we live um, by the faith of God. Um, that we can't, we don't have to see nothing to believe what it is. Right. We just believe it without seeing. Yes. Now, yes, we are fully confident, and we'd rather be away from these earthly bodies. But then, and, and to tell the truth, most of us have not been happy to be um, is scared of living this earthly body. Mm. Yes. We scared. Scared. Most, you know, I was, because yeah. I didn't know where I'm going. Yeah. I've never been away from here. I don't know. Huh? It's like somebody ever been to Africa. We know Africa exists. We see it on TV. We know it exists even though you've never been there. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. But, 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 but um, guess what happened? We know that, um, you, know, you know, if we're confident and we should rather be away from these earthly bodies, for then we will be at home with the Lord. So when, whether we are here in this body or away from this body, our goal is to do what? Please him. Please him. Please him. Right? Yes. So on this side, our goal is to please him. Mm -hmm. On the other side, our goal is to please him. Amen. Right? No matter what it is. But now, because, because guess what happened? We have to understand, we don't just believe God and go back to acting the way we used to act. Right? That's correct. Nobody hear me? Yes, sir. We don't just believe God and then mm -hmm. go back to sinning. Right. So now, our purpose in this life 
is to keep on pleasing God, not ourselves no more. Yes. Before Jesus, we wanted to only please us. Right. We drink till we like skunks, mm -hmm. and we fall. By the way, have sex anytime we want. Don't care if we got diseases, herpes, or venereal disease, or whatever. We use our bodies any way we want. Yes. Hmm? Crack, cocaine, anything. We just do whatever that pleases, as long as it makes us happy. Some people sleep with two women, men, and everything, as long as anything goes and makes us happy. Yeah. But after we come to Jesus, we have to understand this. Your life, this is, see, this is the problem. He said, your life is not your own. You are bought with a price. Meaning from this day on, you don't live to please you. You live your life to please Jesus. Either you hear a lie or you go home with Jesus. It is all about Jesus. Amen. How you live for him. Yes. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. It's all about um, living for him. Um, I put a message today about, you know, Christ. You know, when we talk about a lot of, he said to have your life, you have to lose your life. And most of us Christians have not lost our life. We have not lost our will. We are independent, even from independent in Christ. And I think until we understand that we are totally surrendered to God, we cannot live the way, the fullness of joy that we, He has for us because we have not fully surrendered unto the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Because yes. we still want to do what we want to do and how I want to do it. And even the, the small decision, the big decision, we go to Christ. Because my life not mine. It's whatever He says. It's whatever He wants. Amen. It's whatever He desires. Mm -hmm. yes. You understand that? Yes. So we can come now into the fullness of Jesus Christ and say, God, I surrender to you. Yes. Amen. Not my will, but what? Now will be. So, whether I live in this life, whether I go to this next life, it's all about Him. If it's all about you, you never make it. It is all about Him. Amen. Amen. So, we're going to stop right here. I pray the word bless you and strengthen you. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Renee. I have with you. We have one thing to say to you Jesus is Lord. God bless you.